Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm your host Anna. How you guys doing? Welcome back, dreamers. Thank you so much. So we're gonna be talking about Bath and Body Works fragrances, autumn fragrances at that. I did find one particular fragrance that I feel can go from summer into autumn beautifully. And I just got these just maybe a week or two ago, maybe three weeks, and I wanted to share them with you. So Gingham Glow, okay? This one, it's just, <laughs> it's knocking it out of the park for me. Um, this is definitely giving me summer vibes. This is giving me autumn as well. It's making me feel the beach, but just making me feel like a little bit of that suntan. But then I can almost see myself walking through some trees with autumn leaves falling as well. Let me tell you the notes. The notes are golden nectar, marigold petals. Then we have sun-soaked sandalwood. That's probably why I think about the leaves falling and the, you're walking through like a wooded area. Yes, because this has that depth of like a woodiness, but then it still has almost like that sun, suntan feel. It's citrusy. Oh my gosh, it's creamy. I love this. It's that great in between season scent. Ah, oh, Gingham Glow. You got to put your nose on this and give it a try. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Let's talk about this one. Champagne, apple, and honey. Champagne, apple, and honey. Now the notes on this are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. Ah, oh, they're getting me with the autumn woods, honey. So it's, it's going into autumn. Yes. Now, if you're not an apple girl, because I will tell you, I'm not an apple girl. I'm very picky about my apple scents. Ah, this smells so good. And I'm not an apple girl. You definitely feel the apple. You get the fruitiness. And then you get the sandalwood. It feels almost like you're walking through an orchard, but in this orchard, they have tables set up with apple muffins and apple cake and apple sauce and different tasting tables for apples, the different kind of apples that they have. This is the kind of feel this is giving me. And I, I definitely get the honey because the honey gives it that like little sweet note. So that apple isn't too harsh. And then the fruitiness, it just glides through right on top of the autumn woods that gives you that woody note that's there, but it doesn't overtake that honey. It just doesn't, or the apple. The apple stays up there, baby. It's like, this is what I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm so glad I went on ahead. I was on the fence about this one. This one, it's actually champagne apple honey. Champagne apple honey, okay? That's one that's definitely worth the try. Definitely. Okay, let's talk about this next one. Because I'm trying to get y'all back into your autumn feels, you know, so you can get ready for autumn. Get ready for those deeper, more sensuous, deeper notes type of scents and fragrances and this is the time to do it and then your darker lipsticks your darker nails you can wear your burgundy nails your black your navy blues you could just have so much fun once this weather changes and then you could change into more jewel tone colors too love it well let's get into this fragrance okay marshmallow pumpkin latte okay now the notes for this are pumpkin latte toasted marshmallow creamy sandalwood and praline musk so we got we got some woody we have some musk we have some yummy we have some latte oh, this smells so good now i could tell you when you first spray it at least for me it felt a little overwhelming with the latte scent but then it quickly dissipates because this is a body spray. It's not a perfume. I'm not like these other YouTubers that can go into hardcore chocolate scent that's just all chocolate or a deep, dark coffee scent that's just mostly coffee. I can't do it. But I can do a marshmallow pumpkin latte. This I can rock easily because it has all these other beautiful notes. Ah, smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, imagine 
going into a farmer's market, right? You're, you're taking a nice long drive. You're passing by a whole bunch of woods. You're going towards, you know, out of town, past the suburbs. You're going into areas where it's just not that many people. Maybe you might see some, some, um, you know, uh, wooden, wooden carriages with Amish in them. And this is what it's going to smell like. Oh, oh my gosh. It smells like pumpkin. It smells like baked goods. But it still smells like the woods and that musk. It's the perfect combination. Now, I'm smelling it here in the cap. And now, after several minutes, I'm not getting that latte scent. I'm not. Now, it's just very smooth. It's very smooth. This is this one is... A, Give it a go if you go into the store. Again, marshmallow pumpkin latte. Don't let the latte, you know, push you away. It will dissipate. It will. I promise you. It, it, it did here. All right. This next one, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? All right. Let's talk about these notes. Um, we got heirloom pumpkin, autumn cinnamon, ginger snap. And whipped vanilla. Ugh. Now, if somebody brought you all that on a plate, you your mouth would just be like, you would just be ready to like, give me a spoon. Give me a spoon, somebody. Okay, let me spray this one. I can smell it already, but I want to spray it again. All right, so this one is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Now, this one is a lighter fragrance. So if you're looking for something that's not overwhelming, something that's not too much in your face, but still has a beautiful, sweet gourmand bakery note to it with the creaminess that it's sharing with you here with the whipped vanilla, because you definitely got the vanilla notes, but you got your cookie and you got your praline. It's beautiful, but it's not a loud scent. So if you're looking for something that's not loud, a little bit softer, you might want to give this one a go, at least for me, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Now I'm just doing the cap, but I did the cap before I started and the scent was already like dissipating very quickly compared to the rest. So just a heads up, but this is a beautiful scent. This would be a nice one to get. It would, if you got it only on sale. Like, I wouldn't get another one of these. I wouldn't. This would be enough to carry me for, you know, two or three years, and I'm good to go. Yeah, for, for several seasons. All right, the next one I want to talk about is this little different one. We're going to talk about the Honeycomb Perfume Mist. This also was on sale when I picked it up. And this one just has two notes. Only two notes, Shea and Honey, Okay. And what I found is, uh, this is a six fluid ounce. It's a very, it's a very beautiful scent, comforting, two note, simple, almost something that you would smell like a honey bread. It's not a bakery note, but it's not a bakery note, but it almost smells like a bakery note. Because I can almost smell it going into a bakery and then somebody's making honey breads. Because it has a like tonic scent to it with the shea. I'm getting like a milk scent with it too. It has that creaminess of milk behind it somehow. Even though it's not posted on here, that's what I'm getting. So it's, it says shea and honey, but it's a beautiful beautiful two-tone simple simple scent um, if you're into simple scents you're into that kind of simplicity you might want to dip your toe with this one this one is like that now if you want a true lactonic milk scent you want to get milk <laughs> okay they have one that's called milk now this one's a true like tonic milk scent. And I'll tell you what the notes are right here in the back. It just says notes of sugared oats, whipped milk for creamy, cozy scent. It's just that. It's exactly just that. And 
and it's I, I sprayed this a while ago inside this cap and it's going strong so they have the milk if you're a person that likes more simpler scents and then they have the honeycomb the honeycomb is giving me the honey but it's also giving me a little bit of of milk but if you smell the milk you're like it doesn't smell like that but if you just stick with the honey you'll know what i mean and it does almost smell like a floral honey like you know how they have honey that has like a floral scent to it that actually that you can actually buy yeah it has that all right the next one i'm going to talk about is pumpkin swirl cake pumpkin swirl cake and this is exactly what it is. It's just a pumpkin swirl cake. So this is pumpkin spice, caramel, toffee, and creamy vanilla. Ugh, this smells good. You, you gotta have to love. If you get this, you're really gonna have to love pumpkin, bakery notes, because there's not a whole lot in between. There's no autumn musk. There's no sandalwood. There's none of that there to give it a little something, a little push outside of that bakery shop. It's not giving that push. This is just giving bakery. So if you like just plain bakery without sandalwood, without anything else musk, this might be your jam. Pumpkin swirl cake. I'll be spraying this in here in my craft room for that scent. And there was another one I wanted to share with you, but I think I'm going to hold off. Because I'm going to do a second video for you guys. So make sure you come back. Because I'll be sharing some more of my autumn inspired scents with you. Including for my collection. Don't forget to go check out my other videos. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until later. Bye.